now let's redirect the user to the course page if the token is already there so now what we can do is we can check if local storage dot get item then wp ionic token then we can go to this dot nav controller dot set root uh, it should be course page so now if i save it and we go to login page now it checks for that uh, token now if it is already there i am redirecting to the course page i think i think it should be tab page tab page sorry so now if i go to login page it will redirect me to the tab page okay so now we will add a icon for creating a new post uh, uh, let's do it so we will go to course page and then here in the nav bar let's add new button i think i will copy the code so if we go to um, i think buttons uh, i can copy this i think so if i paste it in the nav bar and change it to plus uh, maybe i think it was add okay so we can see the icon here so when i click on this icon i want it to go to the create course page that we don't have so let's first create it so i will do ionic g page create quote so now what i can do is here for the click listener we can add on go to create quote and then uh, in the create quote page oh sorry in in the course.ts i can create this function and then i can do nav controller dot push and this should be on create uh, i think i will copy it oh create code space okay so if i click on that plus icon mm -hmm. this should be temporary mm, I think I will restart the server so if I restart the server okay so now if i click on the plus icon so it is redirecting me to the create code page so i can create code let's close the other tabs so if i go to course page and let's create a new function code post code and then here in this function maybe i think i will copy this and uh, paste it here create post code and i will use content comma author content author 
Actually, I think I need to pass a title. Title can be same as content. And for status, I will say publish. Uh, seems okay. Now, I also need to set the authorization header. I think what I can do is let token equal to local storage dot get item token string json dot pass uh, then local storage dot get item then I can pass I think uh, this one and then I can use the token here so for the header I will use authorization header and here I can pass maybe let's say Uh, token First we need to change it to bearer and it should work I think okay so here we need to add these fields so I will copy it from the login page So we can add content here and author here, content, author, add code, own add code, Okay, so in the JS file here, if I add content author and create a method own add, actually it should be code. So let's change it here. Now, if I actually I need to first private course course provider course provider and then I can do this dot course provider dot post code and I can pass this dot content and this dot author and then I can subscribe to it and data console.log adder let's say data now if I go to add new post and I add the content from ionic IO. If I click on add code, okay, I am getting an error. So, first we need to check uh, let's go to our code service and let's first let's output the data here. Then let's output the token here. Uh, 
Ok. Rest cannot edit others. You know what? Let's actually add it directly in the object. So if we do change it to colon and same with this one. Now if I save it. Uh, this is from ionic and the author is ionic okay so we got the response back and if we see all posts so this is showing this is from ionic okay uh, okay actually I think I changed the wrong ones for that I need to go to the codes. I don't need to change the content. I actually need to change the code. And the author, this should be a writer. So now if I again add new post from Ionic, new Ionic. Now if I edit, and you can see it here from ionic new and if i see this is the code and this is the writer all right